And we're on. Right. Stay. Not you, the camera. Um, it's Wednesday night and I'm going to do a vlog. Um, I just decided to do a vlog this second. Um, I was <laughs> I was sitting down. I'm, um, I've just found out that Billy King may be my father because he's a time traveller. Anyway, um, no. Um, here we go, right here we go. Uh, obviously I have nothing, absolutely nothing arranged or, or or ready to show you or anything. I just thought, oh what the hell, let's go for it. Um, now, looking about the shithole that is my, my shed, um, actually before I go any further, um, I'm sure those of you that are on Facebook and whatnot have seen it, but uh, Leo, made by Leo, uh, he's passed away. So uh, deepest condolences to his family and um, a shame. Um, I, apparently he's not been well for some time. Uh, he made loads of gear, he made mo loads of gear. Uh, I remember him getting in touch and explaining who he was because I didn't actually know who. I thought Leo was a company the first time. I think it was when I reviewed was it the Sophia, um, back in the mists of time. Um, but nice guy. He was a nice guy. So um, he'll be sorely missed. Uh, so there you go. Um, here yeah, when that happens. Uh, right, me. Um, right this week I have mostly been vaping on. Um, Um, I managed to get hold of another Narda um, which I really chuffed about uh, because I got the uh, one with a bottom fed squonking pin on it and so I've now got my, my favourite Atty with my favourite squonker and um, uh, yes it's got that horrible piss ultum top cap on it but it matches the colour of the juice in the bottle and it kind of blends in with the, the, the yes, I'm sad. Um, th this is vaping Nirvana. This is this is just perfection for me. This is I know it's sad. Um, I used to have actually I used to have two Nardas, uh, but uh, we did a, a charity auction for one of them and off it went. And uh, ever since then I've thought I wish it kept it. Uh, but uh, so. Another one we have. Um, speaking of char charity, 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 and all that and stuff. Now, um, if you haven't seen it, and you probably have, if you are subscribed to me on YouTube or follow me on Facebook or, or, or any of that other stuff, um, ah, it's up at 497 euros now. I'm doing a charity raffle uh, for the Dog Valley Centre. Um, rescue centre, I should say. Um, I'm auctioning, raffling off people are buying tickets to win the the Crow Vape mod and Atty. Um, so, I'm. Do you know? It's just sitting in a shelf here, and if it had raised a hundred pound, uh, fifty pound, and done some good with it, I would have been over the moon. Uh, but it's at 497 euros just now and I'll be finishing this on Sunday night so please please um, go along look at the video and uh, follow the links and please um, you know you can donate to them uh, but if you donate to them and let me know that you've done it then uh, you get a, a raffle ticket and you could win yourself a very expensive mod and atty. So, is it, somebody asked me why? Why do you why um, why Limassol? Why why that place? Uh, Dog Valley Rescue Centre. Um, you'd be amazed how many of the dogs that they rescue and all the rest of it actually come to the UK. Uh, I never actually realised that. Uh, in fact, strange story, but I think it's true is that the girl that actually does TJ's hair and whatnot, fluff, you know, clips them, uh, she, I think she's actually got a dog from these guys not long ago. Uh, we just found that out. 
Um, so anyway, that's that's not vaping related, but um, yes, go and watch the video if you and make a donation, please, please. Um, right, what else has been happening? Um, I went off and I I what did I do? I sold my nipple RDA. Um, why did I sell the nipple RDA? I sold the nipple because it it, it was good, but it just wasn't it, it just wasn't for me. As simple as that. Just it's a funky looking thing uh, and all the rest of it, but um, I just it just wasn't for me. I have no, nothing nothing to level against it saying it's shite or anything like that. It's definitely not bad. Uh, it's a good RDA, but it just wasn't for me. Um, so I sold that off. I sold my K-Fun V5 off as well. Um, because I just... Just wasn't for me again. Uh, once again, very well made. Very easy, easy to wick uh, coil and all that gravy. Um, yeah, it's a good bit of gear, but um, it just wasn't for me. I'm actually happier vaping away with a Conqueror or a Serpent than I am vaping in a K-Fun. That's just personal preference and choice. Where am I going with this? Oh, yes, um, I was going to sell off my Snapdragon as well. Now, this is a version 1 Snapdragon, um, and, I, and, I, and I'd completely forgotten. Uh, it was after I put it up for sale, I realised that I probably shouldn't have put it up for sale because I was given it. Um, other stuff I had bought myself, but I was given this uh, by uh, Gary Harrison, he's a sh host on the Ideal Ohm Show. Sorry, Craig Harrison. Um, I'm such a twat. Um, and, and anyway, I was, um, and, and somebody posted saying, does it come with the velocity posts? And it didn't. And I thought, Do you know, I really like this stripper. It's a while since I've used it. I don't use it as much as I used to. And I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll go off and I'll order the velocity posts for it. Which are massive. They're <laughs> massive. And they really are massive. But, um, oh, surprise. Um, they arrived very, very quickly. Um, and it's not transformed the device. It's not made it... the in my opinion, it's not made it vape any better, uh, but it's da a damn damn sight easier to actually set it up. And uh, yeah, kudos to Eden Mods as well because they actually went off and spoke to Cisco and Dino and got the okay to use that design, which I think is to be commended. Um, what am I? Um, uh, really? Wow. Cream tea by Trip Hammer. Um, very tasty. Uh, so, this is now back in rotation again. Um, and I'm glad. I'm actually glad. I do, I, I do like it. There's no two ways about it. Um, oh, speaking of stuff, uh, at my work, um, we got Crown 2s in stock. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Crown. I'm not a huge fan of sub ohm tanks in general. Uh, I, I'm just not. But um, I looking for something with a battery. Uh, let's 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 just have a a little peek at this. Uh, oh, see this piece of sh sorry. Say I'm um, say nothing. Say nothing. Move on. Um, uh, sorry, I was just about to go off and rant about a, a device there, but uh, I shall not. I shall keep that for the review. Um, let's pop that onto here, onto the Stride VR80. Right, so there's um, the Crown V2. Um, I... Now, 
with all the test the tester tanks we use at work are Crown V1s and uh, when you put a new coil in it takes ages for it to break in absolutely ages to break in it's a pain in the arse um, this put liquid in it um, left it to soak and whatnot the flavour straight away wow perfect no break in period or it, did, it certainly didn't seem like any break in period to me uh, it's, oh that's this um, I'm, I still enjoy that that stuff uh, peachy peachy uh, that um, vape geek sent that on to me that was a little present um, so the, the yeah the crown too um, it's it's not leaked a drop on me uh, it holds a shitload of juice the coils break in quickly and uh, and I think this is about my third tank through it the flavour still the same uh, I'm only vaping it's a 0 0.27 ohm coil at 35 watts and that's perfect for me um, regarding the strides um, now I I oh, will I will I will I will I will I will I yes I do I will if uh, I can keep uh, if I can um, <laughs> if I can get out of doing shit around the house this weekend because there is a lot of stuff that I really need to do um, I'm dead if I don't I, seriously I'm so dead if I don't get stuff done around about the house <laughs> um, I will try and get a quick look at these mods for you um, what I will say is the time I've been using them uh, the, the fire button has been a bit flaky on one of them uh, and other than that the the temp control is a bit yeah I have to put it up to like 460 uh, to, to get anything decent out of it but um, and, and here's the thing right I'm off in a rant um, I have yet to find a, a temp control mod when I say take a stainless steel coil because you can vape a stainless steel coil in wattage mode, uh, power mode or temp mode okay if I vape it at 30 watts in wattage mode in power mode clouds I should be able to switch it to temp control set it to 420, 430, 440 30 watts and get the same vape but I never do I never do and and that's why I dislike it I just don't like temp control um, that, I don't, yeah I don't um, oh um, did, I, did I, I don't know if I pointed this out last week I just want to say a thank you to Rick Grove uh, from the Ideal Ohm Show and it also has a company that sells mod parts modmaker.co.uk however I prefer to use Stealth Vape because Rob sends me presents that don't take the piss out of me um, this is <laughs> Rick uh, uh, tells me that he can get 5ml of juice into his Cleto uh, with the rebuildable dripping section, the rebuildable section and I say you can only get three, three and a half mil in there uh, and it's been a running joke so this appeared out of nowhere uh, one day in the mail uh, a five mil little Pyrex tank brilliant brilliant piss take um, I love stuff like that it's good getting the piss taken out of you, it keeps you grounded um, Right, so that's that's that little bundle. Um, I have also, I absolutely adore my billet box. Oh man, do I adore this thing! Uh, yes, I've mentioned some gripes I have with it, but I'm I'm just getting used to using it. I come, it stays in the shed, and I come home from night with a pile of stuff that I've been vaping with all day, trying tanks, mods, blah blah blah. And um, sometimes when you're testing stuff, you don't always get the build right. You don't always, it doesn't vape as it should do or it could do. And I get home from work and I'm like, oh, I just want a decent vape. 
and I'm picking this up every night I come in to the shed is this it just sits here with a freshly charged battery in it and it's just bloody great beautiful and uh, there are some billet box groups out there and they are showing off um, some stab wood uh, panels and things like that that just transform it um, but I'm going to behave I'm going to be good because uh, if this was stainless right, not stainless but if this was just polished around here then I would be tempted to go for something like a stab wood or something but the fact that it's blue, um, I don't know if I would... I just like it the way it is. Um, so chuffed with this. I'm, I'm really happy I bought it. Um, right, where have we got to? I've got to this corner. Right, let's turn around and look at this corner. Um, this, that, that, this, this just, this limitless thing. Now, there's reviews out there already. Um, and... It's, it's quite strange because I just don't like it. It, it performs, it works, um, it's not complicated, um, it's, it's everything you would want from a, a, a mod to just stick an atty on, take a vape and away you go. But for me it's just everything that I personally don't like about some devices. It's, it's got, got hard edges, the the button should be up here, this bit down here doesn't serve, it just doesn't work for me. I'll do a review on it and I'll I'll tell you now that there will not really be anything negative outside my personal preferences as when it comes to a mod. Um, it's not half bad this thing. It's nice and simple. Um, that you've seen, that you've seen, oh! this you haven't seen. Um, everybody and their dog and their budgie have got one of these uh, sent to them. Um, this is the, the new Inikin Disruptor um, and the screen is now here. It's using the same board as was in, it's one of the TC board, the Atheon. Atheon? Atheon? Yes, I think it is. Um, if you're at all interested, uh, I would recommend watching the Plumes of Hazard uh, that was just on there. Mast uh, did a breakdown of the entire thing. He took it to bits completely and, and he, he gave it a bit of a two thumbs up on the construction and everything. Uh, so that was really interesting to watch. Um, also their new tank. Um, the only thing it is, listen. The plus and minus button. Really tinny. Uh, anyway, the new tank, the Axiom, if I'm saying that right, um, I've got the feeling I talked about this already. Uh, maybe I didn't. Uh, the RBA section, rebuildable section, um, I managed to melt the insulator. I don't think I've done that ever years since I've done it I've managed to melt an insulator. Uh, if you get the Axiom uh, plate and you go to use the rebuildable section make sure that the, um, the pin is, tight, is tightened up, the positive post is tightened up, uh, tighten it from the bottom um, because mine, my one wasn't. Uh, it's like a K-fun, well you know you've got a positive block and a negative block um, well the positive block wasn't tightened right down so when I screwed the allen key at the top the whole thing it just moved and I never noticed I never actually noticed and so when I went to test fire it it just hard shorted and it just melted the shit out of the insulator uh, so be careful in that one I'm using one of the, the pre-built coils on it just now which is 0 0.5 ohm coil uh, I'm only at 20 watts just now. Really like the coils in this. 
it's it's different to forget the you know the i sub coils. Uh, it's totally different, totally different setup. It's the first new tank type system from Anakin for a wee while. You know they've had various up to what five variations of the i sub now. Uh, well, totally different coil. Let's make it thirty watts now. not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, the mod I really like. I, I like this curve on it. I really like this curve on it. It's very comfortable to hold. Um, it's very... I don't know. There, there's some things... You know, every single review I've done, I have done, or for the... There's been two previous incarnations of the Disruptor. Uh, is I've always criticised this square block at the top here and they keep coming back with it every time and it pisses me off um, just want to check something here it does have a slightly better spring loaded 510 I don't know, uh, uh, I'm not sure if it is mm. I'll have to check that. I will say that the tank's screwing down flush, so yeah. But uh, yeah, new Anakin disruptor. Um, very good, very good. Um, what else? Oh, no. Did I mention this? Now the vape droid. Uh, this was a, a pre-release job type thing. Um, short and sweet version is that um, I put this on my um, didgeridoo machine uh, that I got from Kuro Concepts that measures uh, voltage, wattage and all that kind of stuff and I compared it to a, a, a Yihi board and a DNA board and basically um, the board in this was shit. It just was not doing what it was supposed to do. Um, the mod maker um, was already on to it. He was already on to it. Uh, but um, what I found and I sent him a video, I just confirmed his fears. Uh, so he's actually when that night he went on to the vape droid uh, forum uh, or Facebook group put a statement out saying that uh, he was going to recall the ones that had been sent out to people and he's now going to do it with a DNA 75 in it instead which I thought was awesome uh, that is commendable um, in my, my book I mean you know there's not there's a lot of companies out there that would have just churned them out and just thrown them at people and just ridden it out but uh, no he's, he's recalled the ones that he's already sell, sold uh, and he's going to change them which I don't mind, it was a 75 watt mod anyway and the board was, it's easy enough to get around and everything um, but it was the mod, I, I like the mod, I like the form factor of it and I like vaping with it uh, and it, fe it actually feels really well made um, and I think the fact it's going to have a DNA 75 in it is, is all the better it's all the better but I just, it, it's a shame that it's worked out that way for him. It's unlucky for him. Uh, but he's been, I can only say he's been, he's been a pleasure to deal with. And everybody that's on the Facebook group, um, yeah, he's looking after his customers. To be commended. Um, am I done yet? Am I finished? Have I, have I bored you yet? I must have bored you to death by now. Uh Right, let, let's let's go have a look and see what videos I haven't been watching this week because I haven't... I've been painting and stuff like that in the house. Uh, I did put a video out for the Tesla Stealth Mini. Uh, it was a quick, lazy look at it. It was a shit review. Um, but I didn't really have much to say about this wee guy other than it's really good. Really, really good. Um, is it 50 quid good? I don't know if it's 50 quid good. 
I don't think I would. Sp I don't, sorry, but I don't think I would spend fifty quid on it. Uh, I would rather uh, the tank wasn't in it and spend thirty-five quid, and then get my own tank to put in it. Um, oh, where is it? Oh, coulda, 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 coulda. Oh, oh, please, please be sixteen. Please be sixteen. That sounds really bad. Please be sixteen. Don't say that too often. Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, right, I know what I'm doing tonight. Mesh, baby, getting the mesh. Um, look at that in there. That, my friends, is, uh, remember I, I said I went to, was it Vape Jam or Vape Expo? I can't remember which one. Uh, it was Jam. And I met Sturm, uh, Sturm Mods. And he gifted me this. This is um, one of his old... Uh, Genesis atomizers, and when I say this has got a tight draw on it, I'm, I mean I'm talking. I mean that's mouth to lung like you. I will have to drill this out. There's no way that I could. I'm sorry. I, I know mesh gurus across the land are going drill out a Genesis atomizer. Scum, um, but I will. Uh, that that's. I don't even. Th I think that's a one mil hole, if that. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to f have a bash at that later on because that will be perfect in this that will be really perfect in this um, yeah yeah why am I doing yeah why am I pretending I even know how to speak German when I can't uh, oh videos I was going to talk about videos um uh, Subscriptions. Uh, well, Vaping V1 CK has just put up a review for the Inikin Disruptor. You just got it. I don't know. Uh, I see uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mortar uh, has got a review for the Orca. Never heard of that one. Uh, Grim's got a review for the Solara DNA 200. I've not watched that. These just went up in the past hour. Um, I have not watched much of anything. Um, I did watch uh, last night. I watched The Plumes of Hazard. Uh, and that's about all I've really watched. Um, I did skip to the end of Dean's review. Dean did the review of the Limitless 200 watt, and I was actually saying to him, I think it's quite funny, was, and I mentioned this earlier on, um, all the things that he liked about it, I dislike. And that just goes to show you, it just shows you how different reviewers are. Um, it's just, we're just different. People like different things, and that's why you should always watch more than one review. Um, so there we go. Um, why am I snap my fingers? That's about all I've watched. Um, I don't watch much of anything. I've just, I, I would like to say I've just been too busy, but that'd be a lie. Um, and have I emails or anything to talk about? Yeah, who's, uh, no, bugger off. Um, Not long till Vape Fest. He says, not knowing when Vape Fest is. Looking at my ticket confirmations, <laughs> uh, August the 6th. It's not far away. Not far away at all. Uh, looking forward to that. Looking forward to that. Oh, I put out a, a message on my Facebook page as well. Uh, just clarifying that I am not taking on any more gear to review. Uh, currently I have oh, too much. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got eleven or twelve items. Oh, twelve items to review. One of them being like this. 
This is the Shift tank by Boost Lab. Um, now, let's do uppy closey stuff. He's, the, I mean, there's tutorials and he's got a, a build video and whatnot on YouTube as it is. Um, but it's. Um, you can get loads of different finishes, different colours. I, I just went for the black. Um, but there's loads of different ones. But it's like your classic um, Boost Lab. You know, like the K Loud and the Izzy and whatnot. Uh, you can hold 2.2 mil of juice in there. Um, it's got a, a very restricted lung hit. Very restricted. It's more... You can take it down mouth to lung. There's actually a little screw in front of the air hole. You can screw it down to adjust it. Um, it's... It's, oh, I have do have a battery in this, sorry. Uh, no, 28 watts. Because, because the, the chamber is so small in these things, um, you, you just don't vape it like you would in a normal tank. You just can't. Um, because the, the vape's so intense, if you try running this thing at silly wattages, it just, it'll blow your, it just blow your head off. Um, that's me at 15 watts 15 watts and a 0.6 ohm coil um, and it actually gets to the point where if I turn it up to like 23 I think I'm almost out of juice it's too hot it's just too hot a vape um, flavour is it's like a, I, how can I say it it's almost like a K-Loud with a bit more air um, kind of um, I'm, I'm not trying to sell it short by saying that um, I'm a, I am I really do love the stuff that Minwoo does um, at Boost Lab I, I think he's a talented guy um, I'm not going to say it's more of the same, but it's almost like more of the same. Yeah, it's it's nothing radically different. It's it's just not. Uh, but there are a couple of little things that do make it different. But uh, I'll get a, a review out for this before long. Um, what else? Done that. Oh, I'm still I'm um, loving this. Uh, the Grasp uh, by G-Prov. I'm really enjoying this. Um, I, I, that's where all my batteries are going. They're in there, all the mods. Um, I wasn't sure about this at first because of the tube at the back. But holding it like this and just the different textures. Like I've got, you've got the metal there. You've got the wood, the resin. Um, yeah. Is that the rain? <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. I was supposed to be cutting the grass. <laughs> I was so dead. Um, so dead. Oh dear, so sad. What a shame. Um, the fluid, the fluid is performing flawlessly. Uh, this is a beaut. This is just a beautiful little thing. This is just beautiful. Um it ah uh, yeah, it's 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 hard to fault this. It really is hard to fault. Um yes, I'm looking at you. Yes, looking at you. I love the little face. Um Right, that's enough of that, carry on. Uh so we were got to gone through YouTube videos, gone through that. Uh, reviews, what reviews am I got and when am I supposed to be doing them? Um, no, this weekend I am supposed to be doing, uh, I'm supposed to have reviews up for the 
this bad boy. And I'm also supposed to, supposed to have reviews up for this bad boy. Um, it may not be at the weekend. I, listen, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Uh, my schedule uh, for the next wee while is just going to be all over the place. All over the place. Um, oh my god, it's my birthday next weekend. No. <sighs> Um, I had to go on, I've said this before, I had to go on Facebook and check my age. I didn't know how old I was going to be. Birthday the 23rd of July and I actually thought I was pretty chuffed. I thought I was going to be 48. Then I realised I was only going to be 47. So I shaved a year off, which I, um, I'm pretty chuffed about. I'm pretty chuffed about. Um... Ah, that's it. Can you think of anything else? Is there anything else I should mention? I'm sorry the screen is not on and I've never put the screen on. Um, I, I will say that I... Um, uh, I have tried my hardest. I've tried my hardest to go back to Apple again and try it all. I got an iPhone 5 SE because I wanted a smaller phone again. Um, <laughs> I had an I got an iPad, I got the the eye thing sitting in the corner. Um It's not happening. It's not happening. I I like believe it or not, I I I did work in IT for many, many years and, and I like tinkering with stuff. I don't do it as much as I used to, but I do like tinkering. Um and see the thought of going jailbreaking an iPhone and all this stuff again and whatnot just to get into the city and all the back end of it and whatnot. Ugh, I can't be arsed. Um why is it tied down so much? It just uh you do things in Android that are just simple and complicated on Apple. It just no. Um other than that what else? Yeah, that's it. I've nothing else to share with you guys. Uh, listen, you probably know what I'm going to say now. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, we will... Yes, I'll have a vlog up about this time next week because I'll be off that weekend because uh, my birthday, my mum's birthday, day after one and another, tend to get together so I will not be about uh, to do any videos. Um, and it really is bucketing down out there um, and what's going to happen now is I may not even make my 47th birthday because I may be going into the house to get the shit kicked out of me there you go uh, guys thank you so much for watching and we shall catch you next time and I think we shall he's been awful quiet hasn't he Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> you saying hello? Say hello. Go in then. What are you wanting? TJ. Come here. Oh, he's just a pain in the pants then. Come on. Come on up. Are you going to... He's my boy. Oh. Yes. Um, Mike's going to have to take him to the vets. He's, he's got a... Uh, Apparently it's quite common with spaniels to get an, an ingrown hair on their, their, their eyelid under here and it's like a, a little black spot um, so the, I think they, I don't know if they cut it off, they laser it off or what not but um, uh, yes he doesn't look forward to that. Did I ever tell you he does a, a great impersonation of a parrot when you go to the vets I mean you put him up on the table and he literally runs up my arm and sits up here. Uh, he's just a coward. Uh, and I don't blame him one bit. Right, I'm waffling him away and talking shite now. Let's push this off button. Take care, guys. Bye.